Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Sam and today we are back on Need for Speed Payback. And um, so we've done one video of this, uh, which was the first impression. So if, if you haven't seen that, then you can watch it if you want. Uh, it's gonna be in the description. Uh, but in this video, uh, I've already done some of the story. Uh, I don't wanna capture the whole thing uh, just because you'll already be, be watching the story like thousands of times. From other youtubers so i thought i'm just gonna go, go straight to the point so what i want to do in this video is so basically there's these leagues and there's five races that you have to win uh, and if you win the last one which is a sort of a boss fight i guess you could say they will show you the location to a derelict so i think you know what that is that is basically a scrap car i think it is called um so um, we're gonna get our first derelict in this so that's what I wanted to show off in this video. So we're gonna try and win this race. So we're gonna get a waypoint there. So we're gonna drive to there. And this is an off-road race. So uh, yes, here we are. Coming in hot. So we're gonna do this race. Uh, I've upgraded my car so that we have the proper level uh, that is recommended for this. So let's do this. These off-road races are actually pretty difficult. Um, okay, so uh, achieve so you can have a side bet achieve jump 60 Okay, so we're gonna try that so we have to jump a, a total of 60 meters Let's see if we can do that. So it's Subaru against Subaru Let's go Hope you're ready for this, Udo. Oh, yeah. gonna His Subaru is a little bit nicer than mine, but uh, we're gonna roll with it. We have the performance. Let's go. Let's go, yeah. Okay, so this... Oh, we're going asphalt now. No, here we go. Now we are on off-road. The off-road physics, like, or off-road racers uh, are actually harder than I thought. Like, keeping the car in control is actually quite difficult sometimes. Um, so, uh, yes, th that is definitely a thing. And I'm playing on hard difficulty and you can really tell sometimes, like, because some races are really difficult. Oh, crap. Uh, he took a much better shortcut. That's something you gotta remember that you can take s s quite a lot of shortcuts in this game. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, we did that, no problem. Uh, on the off roading, you can take a lot of shortcuts. So that you can just do that if you want. Uh, it's not always going to be the fastest way, but sometimes it is. Oh, so we're doing two laps. Okay, can we do this? Like, see, he's keeping up so well. Like, he. Like, I'm really struggling to keep up with him. There we go, and let's take the good route this time. See, we just can cut, cut across, and we're reversed. Come on, come on, come on. We can do this. Oh, don't lose control. Holy crap, that was really close. Okay, where is he? He is right there. Okay, good. Oh my, this is actually pretty tense. All right, there we go. We've done it, though. Finish line is right there. I'm really liking the fact that you can play in hard in this game. All right, so we can pick a speed car. Let's just do that one. Um, we got a gearbox. Uh, let's equip that, I guess. Mission succeeded. So now we should be able to get the derelict car. New car unlocked at the dealership. What? Okay, so we can buy that now. R32, yes. And the 180SX. Nice. Cool. Really nice. Now we're gonna be able to collect our uh, derelict. You were like the location of the derelict 240 Z is yours. You legit off-road in my book. Thanks. You're not so bad yourself. Our, our derelict clue. Okay, so this is our derelict clue. Uh so I'm guessing that is just showing like part of the map. It's right here somewhere. So we need to put a waypoint. Okay, so let's drive to there and see if we can find our derelict. Wonder if there's a useful part around here. I should check it out. Mr. Freaking Idiot Ski Stam doesn't understand that this picture is literally rep a photo of the location. So now we're here and uh, I found it. And it's basically like the crew. <laughs> um, here we go. 
So now we found the 240C and uh, we can make it into a drag car. Sick. Is that from a Nissan 240Z? No. Oh, so now we need to find four more parts to actually get it. Okay, this might take a little bit. A little bit. Okay, so let's start off with this first one. Uh, we, we we can f we can find it. Okay, I I know how to get it. So these uh, parts are definitely not difficult to find because they kind of show you on the map where it is. Oh. So, oh, you actually have to make a jump to get onto there. I was trying to figure out how to get to there. Like, I know exactly where it is, but how do you get there? So you basically have to make this jump right here. Let's see, do we have enough speed? Yes, there we go. So now we have another part. And here we have the third part. Thank you. Actually, that was the second part. Okay, there we go. All we need now is the last part. And we have the last derelict part. Now we can build our freaking derelict. Let's go. Bring this to Rav. I bet we can rebuild the two for yes, the now. Please. Return to the garage to restore your first derelict. Alright, so let's go to the garage. I heard you found something interesting out there. Yes, please. Look? Restoration ready. For the two forty Z, select. What kind of build you want for this one? <sighs> what can you do with it? No oh, should we do a drift build? Run. We're gonna do a drift build. I, I don't care. I, I want to do a drift build. Uh, do you want to use your new car? Well, yes, I do want to do that. So if I wanna want it to look nice, I'll have to replace the parts. I will. I'll have to start customizing it. Uh, upgrade to performance level three hundred to unlock super builds. Okay, these are the most extreme visual up the customization options. Right. Uh, so, uh, I don't have a lot of uh, customization options unlocked yet, unfortunately. But for now, we're just gonna do what we can. So what happens if we, if we change the color? So we have to replace all of the uh, rusty color, uh, rest of the parts to actually paint it. So it has to look like this for now. So we can change the headlight. I mean, there's no point because the car already looks so bad, but we're just gonna choose the a clean one. Oh, I have unlocked splitters. Okay, that looks pretty insane. What's the little mini wing on it? Look at that. That's that's like a little mini wing. So let's put that on. Oh, we can. I have unlocked brake discs. Let's do that. And I've unlocked rear bumper as well. Oh, what the freak? Oh, I've seen that before. That looks pretty interesting. It kind of reminds of a GTR. That actually re uh, replaces a lot of stuff. So let's actually put that on and see what happens if we try and uh, color it. So we can we can paint it. Oh, okay, so all of the parts that you have changed, those are the parts that you can color. I don't know, what weird color should we have on it? Okay, I've been recording for so long, my face cam just freaking killed itself. So now, so now it is a matte black. That'll look good for now. And I guess while we are here, we can uh, lower the car. I can't wait for the vanity items when I unlock that. Uh, for now, let's take this out uh, and let's see if it actually like drifts well. It has very little power. But uh, it should be interesting to try and see what we can do with it. Yes, very slow. Holy crap. Okay, so we're gonna need some momentum. Oh, okay. Obviously, this is need for speed, so drifting is going to be pretty easy. Uh, anyways, even though it, if it doesn't have a lot of power. Oh, there we go. Of course we can drift it. I've barely driven any cars in this game, so I don't have much to compare it to. But it is way easier to uh, start a drift with this uh, than uh, like any of the other cars that I've driven. Uh, except for the actual drift BRC that we've driven. But yes, this is something that you can get started in drifting in. Uh, yeah. So I think that's gonna be it for this video. Unfortunately yet, there's not much we can do to the car, but I'm just gonna keep playing and unlock things, uh, and we're gonna be able to 
uh, customize the car more in the future. So, yes, stay tuned for uh, more videos uh, on this game on this channel. Uh, and if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. And uh, yes, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, then you can leave a like. Uh, and uh, yes, thank you for watching. My name is Sistem, and I'll see you in my next video.